Once upon a time, there was a boy. Let's call him Max. And he had a very unique problem. See, Max was a very kind boy, but unfortunately, he was also quite gullible. He didn't want to come across as rude, so he spent most of his early childhood in silence whenever faced with confrontation. Because of this, he was bullied in school for being too soft, and his kindness was often taken advantage of. So naturally, he didn't really like being around people all too often, and would spend most of his spare time wandering about alone. One day, Max was walking by the beach when he noticed something terrible had happened. Hundreds of starfish had washed up on shore in the evening tide and were drying on the sand. Now, Max was a very caring boy, and he cared deeply for the creatures of the land. Of course, starfish were endangered in that area, so he went straight to work throwing the starfish back into the ocean. The problem was that it was getting dark out, and there was not nearly enough time to save them all before nightfall came. Max didn't want to be out at night because he might be attacked by wolves. Just about that time, a grumpy old man came strolling near. Let's call him George. George was similar to Max in many ways, except of course George was a lot older, significantly stronger, and not very nice at all. When George saw the boy, he scolded him harshly, saying, Stupid boy! There are hundreds of starfish! Don't you know you cannot save them all? Leave them! Save yourself! Max turned to George and said, But if I do not save them, then they shall surely die. And with that, George left the boy, and Max continued throwing starfish into the sea. After he had thrown about 70, it began to get really dark out, and yet, it seemed 700 or more starfish lay before him. It was at that moment that he heard, in the distance, the howl of a wolf. Immediately, Max ran back up away from the beach and through the forest toward his house. He could hear the rustle of branches around him, but he didn't dare look back. Just as he made it to the clearing and could see his house up ahead, he noticed that his younger sister had wandered outside, all alone. At that very moment, he heard behind him a snarl. The wolf had caught up to him. He screamed for his sister to get inside, and he started running toward the house. But when he looked behind him, his sister hadn't moved. She was petrified with fear, staring at the wolf before her. Without hesitation, Max dashed back to save his sister without nothing but his bare hands, and not a moment too soon. For as soon as he got between his sister and the beast, it lunged forward. The wolf latched on to Max's left arm, and the two wrestled to the ground. Just at that moment, Max's father, who had heard Max's cry from earlier, came with his sword and struck the beast down with a mighty blow. The children were brought inside, but Max's arm was sorely hurt from the fight. Early the next day, Max was walking through town. Nobody had yet heard the news of what happened the night before. Max was on his way to the doctor's office when he heard a voice calling behind him. It was George, the grumpy old man from yesterday. Stupid boy! Don't you know there are thousands of little girls in the land? You cannot save them all. You should have taken my advice and gone home before nightfall. Then you would not have been injured. Max realized now that old man George must have seen the events of last night. Not only did he see, but he did nothing to help. This was the last straw for Max. Something snapped. Max turned to George and said, How many starfish did you save? I saved 70. How many children did you save? I saved my sister. I may only have one good arm left, but it will be used for good. You have both of yours, and they are useless. I will never save them all, but I will save as many as I can. And with that, Max turned and continued walking. Grumpy George was never quite the same after that. He was still seen wandering about, but he never quite spoke to anyone and certainly didn't call anyone stupid. George eventually left town, and Max never heard of him again. I like to think George went off to make a new start for himself, but I suppose we'll never know. But what I do know is this. In life, we are often faced with overwhelming problems. There are some difficulties that are simply too much for us to handle. In situations like those, all we can do is play our part and do our best. We cannot do everything, but we can most certainly do something. And something is enough. That being said, if you're one like me that has been trying to do everything for so long, you may just need to take a break and rest for a little while. If that is the case, might I recommend this other story of mine, where a young lumberjack learns the hard way that sometimes the best way to do more is by doing less.